perfect dog. Yeah, this was good. I I was <laughs> no, I'm serious. I was like pumped for this. This was like really exciting for me. I it just nothing about it tells me this is perfect dark other than that they called it perfect dark and she has red hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, we knew going in that this was going to be a complete reboot of of the series. Like the original yeah. trailer that they showed off however long ago. If you show me this part, I would yeah. be like that is uh Starfield. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Well, this is only just like a level of the game. Like, we don't like. We know it's futuristic. We know it's sci-fi. We know like towards the end of the trailer, it looks like they're looking at something in space or whatnot. So, I mean, it looks like this could be the perfect dark game for the modern era. It's said it's said to be taking influence from like uh, immersion sim games like uh, Deus Ex and Thief and um, oh, what's the other one? Uh, the arcane prey game that came okay, out a couple years ago cool. so yeah it's not going to be just a straight first person shooter like you, there's stealth elements there's platforming elements there's gadgets there's and parkour all there's parkour yeah so i'm i'm excited this might actually be good don't I mean, ruin this for me i'm gonna play it yeah but you know i was expecting more of a nostalgia trip and less of a you know complete reboot to try to get new people into the franchise well you know? i mean it's been like how long since the last perfect dark game it's been even longer since the last good perfect dark game. yeah i completely forgot about the yeah <laughs> the exactly dark zero completely forgot about it so like they need to do something that like, they've been sitting on this for eons now yeah. so you might as well just take you know start from scratch so I tweeted that I was upset with the visual style of the game because yeah. it just seems like every bland sci-fi game recently, like yeah. the style is the same across all new futuristic games. And somebody tweeted back to me and said, just so you remember, this is what Perfect Dark looked like. <laughs> and I was like, yes, it was a weird, <laughs> like, like silly, goofy ass game. Yeah. And that's what the alien looked like. You know, it was like yeah. silly on purpose. Yeah. And like, that's what I was kind of expecting. Yeah. I think it also doesn't help that like, it, it's not being made by Rare. This game is yeah. being made by a new studio, uh, the initiative and collaboration with Crystal Dynamics. So it's obviously going to be a very different experience. Um, also, I saw this today, the print ad for Perfect Dark. <laughs> and it said, this is from 20, uh, uh, the year 2000. I'm sorry. Yeah. It says, it's 2023 AD. So already, <laughs> already we're in yeah. for it. Uh, war wages under the sea. I don't remember there being under the sea stuff. There was a level underwater. Yeah, you were in like an underwater facility. Aliens conspire with big businesses. The president is about to be cloned. At times like these, bullets are a girl's best friend. Now, it would be cool if it was... <clears throat> the 2000s version of the future yeah like the year is 2023 and it's all futuristic but like how we would have seen right. the, the future from yeah. that perspective that is more like what i would have expected from from a perfect dark reboot but i'm also for completely forgetting that perfect dark zero exists yeah i don't know anything about that game or how that i believe was that was a it's supposed to be a prequel to perfect dark but even that was like drastically different from what the original Perfect Dark was. Mm -hmm. So, so that's how I feel about it. I'm okay. gonna play it. I'm sure it'll be fine. But I would have been looking more for something that was like stylized in a way like like that. Like, right? I, I think that would have been a good idea. Maybe just something different that's just different looking than yeah the way every futuristic game is. Well, again, right we only saw like the one level. And so we don't know what the rest of the game is going to look mm -hmm. like. You know, hopefully it does get a little weird in sci-fi and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be great. I just wish, you know, her jaw wasn't so manly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I want those hot polygons. Yeah, seriously. Hot N64 polygons. <laughs>